Well, welcome back. We're here at the ALEC annual meeting in New Orleans, and uh, we are pleased to be joined by Brooke Rollins from uh, the you. Office of American Innovation at the White House. And uh, we really enjoyed your uh, speech during lunch. Thank you. And we um, were just wondering, why is it important for you to come to ALEC? Why is ALEC important to you, and what value do you see with ALEC? You know, because my experience is really in the States and helping lead Texas, uh, in my opinion, to become a model in good governance. And while it's not perfect in Texas, I feel like we've really, over the last decade or so, with great leadership and great ideas, have really moved the state forward and helped so many people. So I think what ALEC represents is the best of what the states can offer. And the great founding fathers, their vision of the laboratories of democracy, lives most vibrantly through an organization like ALEC where you can compare and contrast what works. You bring together leaders from around the country to talk about best practices and then go back to their states and implement them. I'm not sure there's much more important to be done than that. Well, you mentioned a little about, about what Texas has done. And I want to ask you, in the field of criminal justice, Texas has in fact been a model. You know, in 2007, Representative Madden mm -hmm. at the time worked with Governor Perry yeah. and uh, really passed some comprehensive justice reinvestment. And now, in your role at the White House, you're seeing the White House take on uh, prison reform. Mm -hmm. And just in your very long experience in working on this issue, how do you feel that the White House is driving this issue and showing why reentry is important? It's so interesting, but it's so encouraging, too, that there, if you have a righteous cause that is virtuous and grounded in research and ultimately will help so many people uh, that you can literally move mountains. And I've seen this president become very connected to the issue. He truly believes he is there to represent the forgotten men and women of this country. And I'm not sure there's any more forgotten than those who are sitting in prison and most of whom are coming back out. And so what can we do as a society to better help them integrate, whether it's job training or better education or figuring out where they're going to live. You know, all of these are services that the government as a warehousing of people who've done some bad things, there's no doubt about it, but as a, as a country of second chances and redemption and what we stand for, I think there's so much good that, that can be done. So the importance of the issue has really bubbled up in this White House to become not the priority, but certainly a priority. And when you hear the president speak of, it's one of the you know most important things he thinks he can do during his time in office. It's really, really encouraging to see. But the beautiful thing is that we've proven the concept out in the states. This is not new. This is you know not taking a jump off of a cliff, hoping that you land on on soft ground. It really is something that we know works. And so, how can we scale that at the federal level? Is is really exciting. In fact, many of these states have passed these. Uh, legislative reforms and have mm -hmm. seen not only incarceration rates go down but the crime rate drop as well so it's also That's contributing right. to public safety by reducing recidivism. That's Brooke, thank exactly you so right. much for joining us today. We really appreciate it and uh, for more information please see our website at www.alec.org. Thank you.